jetted in from Turkey, rescue teams and humanitarian aid, including tents, generators, food, hygiene products and clothes. Rescue boats and life vests are unloaded from the United Arab Emirates. Meanwhile, aid sent by other Libyan municipalities arrived at Al Abraq airport, bound for the nearby eastern coastal towns hit by flash flooding, in particular Derna, where dams broke and entire neighborhoods were washed away. Derna is facing an absolute crisis. Merili has been completely cut off. Yesterday we left at 4 a.m., driving around 350 kilometers to reach it. It's a disastrous situation. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi pledged military equipment and personnel, while the U.S., Iran, Italy and Qatar are among other countries to promise aid. Libya is already straining for more than a decade of conflict. And aid organization must be coordinated between the country's two governments. The prime minister of the government in eastern Libya said the devastation in Derna is far beyond the capabilities of his country a sentiment echoed by the IFRC. Humanitarian needs are huge and much more uh, beyond the uh, abilities of the Libyan Red Crescent and even beyond the abilities of the, of the government. The challenges are ranging between uh, access to basic health uh, facilities or health services, uh, shelter uh, and shelter management, uh, food and non-food items, uh, first aid, like social support and restoring family lives. A World Health Organization spokesperson described a calamity of epic proportions while the UN's Organization for Migration expressed concern for the many vulnerable migrants in the country.